friends, this is Arl. In this experiment, we're going to be making a crystal. If you haven't already watched the the other crystal video I made on my channel, you can go check it out in the link in the link in the description. We got this crystal. I bought this crystal from a shop, and it's actually a real life one. And then I was so amazed, and I thought. How, how are crystals made? And how do they like feel so spongy? And that was a very big question for me. So I went to Google and, and I typed, how are crystals made? It said that crystals are made by liquid that hardens. Crystals are also made by magma that cools down and hardens. So, so I bought our very own, my very own crystal kit, and I said, why don't we make a crystal of our own? This, we have a glass container and a bowl of hot water. Pour the hot water to the glass container, and be careful because, because it's 100 degrees Celsius. So pour it about six centimeters. That, that, that's where the slide is. And add the white base compound into the glass container. Mix it well. Like, you need to mix it so well, like all of it gets dissolved. Compound is off, and now it has become a clear solution. So today I'm going to make, I'm using three different kinds of seeding mixture to make three different kinds of crystals. The first one is blue, the second one is red, and the third one is white. crystal growing solution is ready and I'll keep it undisturbed for a few days to to see how it comes up. Wow look at that like see look at all these crystals like crystals are basically over the containers. For me it took like two months to grow because I live in a cold climate so uh, the number of days can change uh, in the temperature you live like for example if you live in Arizona or India Maybe it would take less than a week or two. But if you live in cold places like uh, here, it would take two months. During the crystal growing process, small crystals may grow around the inner walls of the container. The crystals have grown in the inside and outside walls of the con container. This process is called crystal climbing. The crystals are formed because liquid moves up through the tiny gaps between the crystals themselves and between the crystals and the container. This movement is called capillary action. In water, evaporation allows the crystals to grow. This is our next experiment, and it is really short. Like for this experiment, you only need a cardboard tree. Uh, base, preferably something to stand in tree on, and some crystal solution. You just pour the crystal solution in the base, and you, and you wait for a day, and it'll grow.
so After that, you can come back and see your crystal tree and watch the magic happen. So when it came the next day, did you see all these crystals that have grown on the cardboard?